goodness, y'all. Hold on. Put a little chicken up here. No, I didn't do this like this. Girl, it's making some plant-based chicken alfredo today. And I know y'all like, girl, how are you gonna make it plant-based with chicken? It ain't no animal chicken, it's plant-based chicken. But y'all, your girl was a big chicken alfredo lover back in the day. I'm like, let me go ahead and try to make this my first time. So this is gonna be a nice little trial and error because I never made this before. So we are gonna make it together and taste it together. Now let's get to the ingredients, baby. So check out the ingredients. We're using our garden chicken strips. Yes, 100% plant-based cheese, plant-based. <laughs> Do not play with me. We got our butter, our heavy cream, and our noodles. Everything here is plant-based, and you probably can find it at your local store, but I found these all over y'all, from Sprouts to Dig on Fresh Market to Publix. So check out the store in the year, but we better get started, y'all. Okay, so your girl didn't add some water. Now it's time to put it on. Therefore, it can come to a boil, put a little salt in there, and get ready to cook the noodles. Now, while the water is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the instructions because I don't wanna mess this up, y'all. This says it takes seven to nine minutes to prep which means while my noodles are cooking, I can be cooking my chicken. Plant-based, okay? Plant-based. The most exciting part is, well for me, is to make that Alfredo. I wonder how it's gonna taste. Look, I'm so nervous, y'all, I'm so nervous. Now I've been, you know, looking all over for this, y'all, and I hope it's the right uh, heavy cream. This heavy wood, but I don't know if that's the same thing as heavy cream, but I think it's the same thing as heavy cream, but I don't know. We're gonna try, we're gonna see y'all. Now I'm gonna throw some milk up in there. We're gonna use the milk instead of heavy cream, and they had the cheese do what it do, but y'all, that's why it's a trial and error video. So we're gonna try this out and see how it tastes, because your girl's excited. And I'm waiting for that water to come to a boil. I can add a little salt to it, and then add a little noodles. Wait, do I have to add salt with a boil? Matter of fact, I'm gonna right now. I had to go to the refrigerator and get this dead on broccoli because I forgot I will be adding broccoli. So in the meantime, while that's coming to a little boil, your girl gonna have to go ahead and wash this off and slice it up, okay? Now that the water is boiling like it's doiling and boiling and doing what it's doing, time to add our noodles up in there. After I add the noodles up in there, I might, I don't know, I think I'ma um, move it to the back burner. Oops, some drop of stuff. So I'm here thinking like, what do I prep first? The Alfredo sauce or chicken? I think I should prep the Alfredo sauce first because I could put the Alfredo sauce on the low while I cook the chicken. Plant based, okay. So we better get ready to make this day while Alfredo, y'all. It's about to go down, I'm so nervous. But I know, you know, you can't, not like something or be scared to make something if you never tried it or did it, you know what I'm saying? Your girl is excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that thing on. And let it warm up a little bit and then put that good old plant-based butter in a pan. In that shit. Let's put that butter in a pan. Cause you, you, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna bring the camera a little close so y'all can see this uh this masterpiece. I'm so scared to open up this dead on heavy cream. I hope it's not wait, 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 too wet, too thick. Hey! Hmm. Nope. Me, 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 me. I'm so nervous to make this up for those hogs. I'm gonna start off by placing butter on the pan and hopefully it's warm enough. If not, it's gonna be okay because I'm still keep trying. And it's a little bit warm, you know what I'm saying? It's our heavy cream. And while the butter is melting, I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up and prepare to open it and add it into the pot. Add our heavy cream. The key to this is to make sure that your pan is nice and hot and ready because this determines how effective the melting process will be for your plant-based cheese. A little bit in there. Ooh, look at that thing, nice and pure and wild. Okay, there we go. Don't wanna add too much. I think I added too much. Wow. So I'm gonna wait till it comes to a little bowl and to add a little Parmesan cheese up in that thing. I'm gonna go ahead and blend in the butter and the heavy cream because I don't want it to just be too buttery. For my Parmesan, this is the plant-based cheese I'll be using. Follow your heart. Look at it. And the crazy thing, y'all, it smells just like Parmesan cheese. Do not play with me. Now, as you can see, it is officially coming to a boil. We're gonna add that Parmesan cheese up in there and stir as we add in the cheese. Now, hopefully, oh, hopefully I got enough cheese, y'all. And I also have the grated cheese as well. 
you can see, it's melting a little bit. So we're gonna add it in there. I don't want my Alfredo to be too milky. And that's what I get for not getting all this cheese. So now I gotta add in some extra cheese. I also have my grated Parmesan and I'm gonna add that into the mix as well. I'm gonna let it sit for a while so it can thicken up while I add my cheese. Y'all, hold on. It's giving a little thick Fredo sauce. It's giving that thick Fredo. Don't play. Look, hold on, wait. Look, it's, oh, girl, tea. For me to add in my seasoning while I turn it down, I'm gonna let it cook and, you know, thicken up a little more. Add in my tabata. My good old tabata. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Alex sock. Mm-hmm, not too much, not too little. Okay, not too much, not too little. Into it. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm. 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 Oh my gosh. That look like Alfredo. Now your girl went ahead and cut it down and I got me a little spoon and we're gonna try it out. I think I'm gonna have to add in a little, no, nah, this will be nice and thick. Add in a little more heavy cream to, you know, break it up a little more. Not too much, not too little. A little bit of garlic, not too much, not too little. Bam, that was not too much, not too little. Let me see what's given. It's missing something. I think salt. I can't go around my real salt. Let me go to add that in there. A little bit, not too much, not too little. Okay. Oh, I did that. I did that, I did that. Okay, now it's time to check my noodles because I'm cutting them down. Cause I want them to be ready just in time. Now it's time for me to switch out my Alfredo and put on that plant-based chicken. Do not play with me. Be quick, I wish I would've bought two Parmesan's instead of one because I realized that I didn't have enough. So that's something I would say. If you want to try it, make sure you get the cheese you would like to add and get more of it, at least two. Two of them, okay? I'm gonna put this avocado in. Turn this dag on stove back on. What's our young butt? Turn this burn on. And put that little bit of avocado oil in there. Not too much, not too little. Again, I'm using gardens. Oh Lord. Good. I think my noodles are ready. I'm gonna cut the things off. Okay, so now that I opened up that dag on bag, it's time to see how this chicken strips plant based look. First, it smells good. It smells too good. Look, look at that strip. Hold on, look, I'm, on, I'm on here. Look at that strip! My burner is hot, and it's time to put this chicken flat base onto the stove. Let's see. Okay, okay. I don't think I'm gonna keep them. Oh, this thing is ready. How many should I make? I don't know. It's hot. Also, this is what the chicken strips are given. Look at them. Go ahead and start turning them. As you can see, some of the sides are lightly brown, and I'm gonna continue doing this until each side of the strip turns a nice little golden brown because I don't want no uncooked chicken <laughs> plant base. The chicken plant base is done and cooked. It's time to remove it from the oh. And prepare to slice it in half. Well, not a half, but it's a smaller pieces because I don't want big old chunks of plant-based chicken in my freaking avocado. Not avocado. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, man. Alfredo. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and cook my broccoli, and then we're going to get it started. Go ahead and put my Alfredo sauce back on the burners on low so that it can cook and be warm and ready by the time it's time to eat. Now let me go ahead and season everything and get it prepped. We can get a taste test going. Everything is prepped and ready. Now it's time to put it into one and let it do what it do, because I'm so nervous inside. Okay, okay so first, I'm gonna add in a good old noodles. Got everything else in. Time to mix it up. Mix it, mix it up. 
There we have it. Finished product. Look at it. What? Now it's time to do a taste test. Hey girl, I got her little plizate. Now it's time to taste this thing. Mm. We better see what it's giving. Goodness, y'all. Put a little chicken fear. Oh my god. No, I didn't do this like this. Okay. <laughs> How did I do it so good? I did that. Of course I could have tweaked the little thing. It looks like it's missing a little season or something, but I don't know. I would eat this again, cause it's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> this is the finished product. This is how it look all together. Do not play with me. It's time for me to get down, well sit down, well grab my plate, make some water, and go sit down and watch some TV and eat the rest of my pasta because I did that. So you might not follow it exactly how I did it because you might add your little own little salt or add whatever you add to it, but I'm so glad I just never sucked it out. Hey, and finish what I was doing, which was eating and get to it y'all so let me know what y'all want to see next i'm gonna keep giving y'all recipes day in the life everything whatever you will see and i love y'all mm -hmm. make sure y'all like share whatever 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 uh, mm. i'll see y'all later mm.